Um, I think people don't understand energy in general. I mean, the general public doesn't understand energy. And I think energy, energy literacy is what I would really strive for, what it is, what energy is, where we get it from, and how we use it. Those are the key, key things. And uh, you know, just, uh, just to illustrate how illiterate it is, uh, for example, uh, if, you want, if you read the newspaper, um, they'll always mix the units up. Right, you know, and it's sort of like a reporter has this bag with like energy units in it, and he comes along, oh my God, and just sort of sticks one in, you know, at random, because he has no clue. Or when we talk to somebody about a, uh, we talk to the press about a new power plant, you know, we say, well, we just built this 10 megawatt Alamos power plant, you know, and the the reporter's eyes kind of go around like this, and. Um, he says, well, we really don't understand what 10 megawatts is. Uh, could you tell us how many houses it powers? <laughs> so the unit of energy has become the house, okay? <laughs> the house, sort of de facto. And, it, you know, it, it, or another, you got, yeah, another good example is when the newspaper talks about rate increases from PG&E, okay? They say PG&E is requesting a rate increase. Okay, and this will result in the average consumer spending 24 cents a month more. That's how they express it. They don't say 3% of the kilowatt hour. You know, it's just you're going to have to spend 24% for the average customer. Whereas if you look at like gasoline, when the price of gas goes up, the paper doesn't feel compelled to say the average driver is going to spend, uh, you know, four dollars a month more because the price of gas went. They say no, it went up 10 cents a gallon. People understand. 10 cents a gallon, they don't understand kilowatt hours. And they don't understand what it's used for, where it comes from, how much it is. They don't understand how energy addicted we are, how energy intensive we are. I mean, a good, a good example, there was a guy that uh, lectures about this, a VC actually. And he, he pointed out that a joule, which is the fundamental unit of energy, right, in the new SI units, is about the amount of energy to take an apple from the floor and put it up here on this table. It's a Newton meter. That's one joule, right? Okay, uh, that's tangible. You know, if everybody understood that's energy, the apple, put it up there. A kilowatt hour, okay. What's a kilowatt hour? Well, I mean, that's a strange unit that has historic, it is a rate times the time undoing it, right? Okay, so, so a kilowatt, uh, so a watt is one joule per second. So you lift an apple up one, so you're, now you're doing a watt, one per second, okay. You can do a watt of work, you know, work at a watt rate pretty easily. What's a kilowatt hour? Well, I'll do the math for you. It's 3.6 million joules, okay, right? So we, for which we pay 10 cents. So we pay 10 cents to lift 3.6 million joules from the floor to the table. That's how much energy, you know, think if you had to pay somebody to do that, how much? So, <laughs> so we, you know, we've got energy all through our society from, uh, Making fertilizer to grow more agriculture, to plowing the fields with tractors, to transporting it in refrigerated trucks to the market, to refrigerating it at the grocery store. Ener amazing amount of energy embedded in that whole thing. And that's the kind of thing I think people need, need to understand, uh, rather than like, you know, what photons coming into silicon and so, so kind of thing.